Hey everyone, it's Joe. Hi, uh, and I'm here with our next episode of the VR Chronicles. And with this one, we're not doing anything scary. We're actually doing something pretty cool. I'm excited. It's called the Apollo 11 Experience. Um, it's made by Immersive VR Education, and they actually just successfully kickstarted a Kickstarter to get this thing made uh, proper. So we're gonna do the demo. Uh, it's actually, it seems like it's going to be really cool. I haven't played it yet. So yeah, let's, let's just jump right into it. So looking at the start to start. I like that. Got my headphones on, ready to go. 1957 Soviet Russia, a lot in Sputnik one first made. You can just read this. I'm not going to read it out loud. Right. Oh, I'm going to listen to a speech. No man can fully grasp how far Oh how shit, this is cool. So, all right, let's look around. We, we got a little television, television there. Television. Lava lamp. New problems. This was pretty danger. cool. Oh, look, there's the landing craft down Surely there. The opening vistas of space Just chilling in my chair. Promise high costs and hardships. As well as high reward. So it is not surprising. This is cool. I like this intro. Some would have us stay with Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. Whoa. We choose to go to the moon. This is cool. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other Whoa. thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are This hard. is awesome. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best like i mean i know this is supposed to be a learning experience and i think this is fucking part of my friend this is really cool i mean if i was 13 and i was in school and i got to play with this and see this this would be awesome nice oh cool man Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. <laughs> cool. So uh, I heard that was the new part of the intro that that actually wasn't there before. Um, but I like it. It sort of sets the stage for the whole thing. Adds that drama. I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my, uh, my this two looks incredible. were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and, and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves Whoa. rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it was so quiet up there for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and off for a momentous uh, That's incredible. event. I'm like in awe by this whole thing, man. This is really cool. Uh, just being able to see the rocket and sort of be around it. Um, this recreation is pretty cool. The whole setting is really awesome too. Oh, watch your head. Uh, yeah, man. Wow. It just gives you the sense of scale. I think that's what's so cool about it is you look up and you see the rocket. I thought uh, we yeah. had a 90% wow. chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 a chance of making a successful landing <laughs> on the first first attempt. Just the so sense of unknowns in that the buildup of you know you're gonna get on a spaceship and go to space demonstrated yet by testing it's a risk reward uh, equation and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the roar reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after 
Yeah, just this idea that you're riding an elevator to the top of this ship to climb in to go to space. It's pretty cool. Oh. All right, now we're in it. Minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications are coming in. Whoa, this control center at this time. This control area is so well done. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. Wow. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance like I just want to reach out and start touching the seconds, the instruments. The Looks so great. At 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. And what's insane is the processing power in this ship people have it in their pockets now. What's up, Neil? All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. And just the feeling of uh, you're in the ship, it's about to lift off. They're counting down. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Six. Whoa, the ship's five, shaking. Four, three, two, Whoa. one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Thirty two minutes. <laughs> this is awesome. Lift off on Apollo eleven. Like, I want to grab on and hold on. It's so cool. You see the instruments changing. We got the sunlight coming through. <laughs> Whoa. Starting to break the atmosphere. Oh, well, in Houston, you're good at one minute. Down range, one mile, altitude, three, four. Oh, shit. Miles now. That's awesome. I feel like I'm just using a lot of positive adjectives that should probably sum this whole thing up. This is really fucking cool, man. Well, in Houston, thrusters go all engines. You're looking good. Hey, Roger, you're last clear, Houston. See the moon out the window out there. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. Stars. Earth. Houston, uh, your board engines out. I'm in board cutter. Oh, we just ditched the rockets. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. I do wish there was more interaction in the actual cockpit. Oh, look, there's zero gravity. <laughs> I just want to reach out and grab it. <laughs> like, I wish, I wish my other astronaut buddy was like doing stuff. <laughs> I think that's the end of the demo. Yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. So, yeah. That was the end. You experienced that zero gravity. That's super dope. Um, like I said earlier, this is a Kickstarter. This was kickstarted successfully. Um, and, yeah, it's fucking awesome. It's really cool. I can just imagine these are the kind of experiences that get me excited for uh, Oculus or just virtual reality in general, just because it's cool to play games and, and I, there's still some hurdles when it comes to like human interface with games, but to be able to sit down in the library and load up something and just be able to go on a, the Apollo 11 mission is just, that's where I think 
you really can win and really get people excited about VR. It's the experiences. It's the you know I'm top of a mountain. I'm in the spaceship. I'm uh, I'm learning something. I'm gaining something from it. Not that you don't learn from video games, but um, yeah, this is really really cool. I think I can just press enter. Let's let's see what happens when I press enter. See even this idea like I have to try and figure out where it is on the keyboard and stuff. Um, but in those non-interactive experiences, I can just sit back and just let it take me for a ride and look around and, you know, you can use the Oculus to interact. I was use, I use that to start the mission. Um, yeah, I think stuff like this is, is really the future of what VR can mean for a lot of people besides gamers. Let me just press enter. Let's see what happens. Will it actually take me to a website? No, it won't. Not in virtual reality. Um, they do need some typography help <laughs> but nonetheless an awesome awesome uh experience this was just the demo um yeah i'm I, i'm excited for the full version that's going to be really really cool uh i know they successfully made it so i don't know when we'll actually see the full experience but um that was awesome and even the intro where you're in the you know you're in the room and you're just listening to uh the speech really really cool um all right, I think that concludes this next episode of VR Chronicles. This is episode three. Uh, thank you so much for watching, if you did watch. And um, we'll see you again. I think the next one we're gonna go, I'm going to be doing is the virtual arcade. Uh, or we might do something scary with Andrew again. But either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Joe Torado, and uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Joe T Plays, Or you can follow Shack News, where I work, uh, at Shack News. Uh, to see so yes to see more stuff like this check us out on uh, shacknews.com thanks <laughs>